Hi everyone, it's Elle here to do a collective reading. What I'm gonna do is go from Aries to Pisces really quick just to pull your energy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, guys. Thank you, God, for blessing each zodiac sign with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. Aries to Pisces. Aries to Pisces. All right, so let's see what's going on for Aries. All right, Aries. So a weekend getaway. Okay, so something could be temporary. It could be just for the short term, okay? It could be a relationship. Um, this could even be a job. This could be an opportunity. Whatever this is, it just seems as if maybe you're having a lot of fun on the weekend also. There could be someone coming to visit you or wanting to visit you maybe on the weekend here. Let's see what's going on here for Aries. You could be dealing with a relationship where pe someone has to come to you, visit you, or they can only see you on the weekend. Yeah, Eight of Swords, it's like they've isolated themselves or the other part of their life or what they've got going on from you. Um, and when they leave, they leave you in a place of isolation within your mind. You're wondering what's happening, what's going on here. Yeah, it's like this person comes to have fun with you, page of wands, explore with you, and then they move on. It's like travel to a travel romance here. All right, so let's see what's going on for Taurus, Taurus. All right, Taurus, what do we have for Taurus? Okay, Taurus. So, okay, we got losing the house. Now, this doesn't have to mean that you're losing your, your actual home. A lot of times it talks about losing um, your relationship or this could be someone around you. They're losing their relationship. They're not actually losing their home here. So you're losing your stability. Um, so this card also can come out when something has been illuminated within a relationship because it's the yellow card within a structure within a dynamic could even be at work there's some illumination something was hidden and now you know it, it's out in the open and maybe it's it's causing a connection a relationship whether it's business platonic romantic it's causing the connection to kind of falter to go on the decline it's losing so it's the act of uh, of loss here so you're in the midst of it so it's like you could bring it back but there's an energy of losing something that that brought you a lot of stability what is this about yeah two of wands so maybe somebody was cheating sometimes this card comes out uh the whole cheating scenario having two different options going between the two um thinking that the grass is greener on the other side having the fun and the spontaneous option and then the tried and the true the re the reliable one the house okay um so yeah maybe somebody uh found out something here or i heard a sneaky link or something of that nature all right so let's see what's going on here for gemini all right gemini okay gemini what's going on for gemini communication all right i don't know what that means for you all right let's see gemini what's going on for gemini what are we going to tell gemini right now all right okay currently being used and i know it all right so maybe um maybe somebody communicated to someone that they are being used okay but it looks as if this party knows it maybe that was the communication that happened there could even be someone here who is creeping they have another person they're lying they're sneaking away so it's like somebody's being used uh for maybe their resources with the brown card it says it talks about stability uh the ground growth um even fertility it's like somebody knows that they're being used for all that they offer all that they have built for themselves what is this about for gemini either you gemini or the other person uh yeah knight of pentacles and funny has got some of the same colors or maybe you know kind of um so somebody's being used because they are reliable they are uh, stable they are um i heard long suffering so this is also somebody just st stubborn won't move you know, failure to move or make a move or maybe even scared to. Yeah, somebody communicated eight of wands. Um, maybe that somebody is being used maybe for their resources because they are resourceful, because they are hardworking, they're diligent, um, they're not moving. Somebody is more so devoted to the relationship and maybe even um, 
the look of things more than they are devoted to uh, the person. This even could be like an open relationship too here. And that's why somebody's saying, well, you know that this person is doing this or doing that. It's like, well, you know, I know. And maybe that's the agreement you have. Let's see. There could be a group of people telling maybe your person that they're being used or vice versa. Someone's telling you that you're being used. You don't care or another person doesn't care. Um, it's beneficial in some way. Like maybe you're getting something out of it or they're getting something out of it. Let's see. What's going on for cancer? Bless cancer with a clear reading. All right, what's going on for cancer? Okay, cancer, the card for cancer. What do we have for cancer? All right, we've got club, hopper, party, party. So somebody is not able to um, maybe, uh, somebody, they, they try to like grow so many different relationships, you know, so many, in so many different places with different people. Maybe they make everybody believe that they're in a relationship with them, with with it being a green card and then being a club hopper. So it's like somebody's hopping around, maybe even from person to person, engaging in some, yeah, engaging in some risky behavior. Yeah, it's like, um, ro like this is could be somebody who is like a lover boy, lover girl. They, um, they like the romance of a relationship. They like maybe the beginning. They like the foo foo, the, the you know the the fluff of a of a connection. And maybe that's why they hop around because you can get that that um, that ad adrenaline rush, that um, that mania, if you will, with with different people. You know, if you stay with the same person and you try to make it work with one person, it becomes a little, you know, uh, routine. You already know what's happening there. But if you, if you, if you hop, if you, you know, you get, it's like this person endorphin is what I'm hearing. Like, and I don't know, dopamine, I don't know, something where somebody needs that. Like this could even be somebody who is at, uh, at hyper, you know, hyperactive and maybe even hyperactive in, ter in terms of sexuality. This card wanted to come out. Let's see what this card is. Yeah, seven of cups. It's like somebody has a lot of options. They, they make a lot of promises to their people or their person, um, to a lot of different people, make them feel like they're in a relationship, like it's real. They do this all over the place with several different people. But the Seven of Cups talks about not being serious about a relationship, wishful thinking, creating the illusion, blowing smoke up somebody's, you know what? It talks about maybe the cheating or philandering spouse or whatever. It just, it just talks about somebody who's not serious about love relationships. So this is what you could be dealing with, Cancer, or this is you, right? Let's see what's going on for Leo. All right, Leo. Yeah, Cancer could be lying to everyone, you know, making everybody feel like they're, you know, they're the one. Let's see, Leo. Or, or this is what someone is doing with you, Cancer. All right, Leo. Leo. Okay, let's see what's going on for my Leos. Okay, neglectful parenting. Ooh, oh my gosh. So it says, uh, oh my gosh, where are the kids? So neglectful parenting. All right, so um, neglectful parenting, it could just be... Uh, you don't have your the, your mind is not in the right place for whatever reason okay um somebody also needs to get like uh maybe take medicine or they take medicine or medication uh with the purple card here something about the psyche um yeah knight of swords here so if somebody's always This is somebody who, you know, they're neglectful. Maybe they have suffered neglectful parenting, or this is someone who is actually doing the neglecting of maybe their children um, because they're determined. This is a person who's also uh, confrontational, maybe not even seeing the truth here. They just see it their way. Yeah, they're kind of self-centered. Um, they don't see what they're doing um, or they don't see the other perspective or a different perspective. They don't think that it's neglect. They feel like it is, they're doing their best or they are the best. 
um, this oh, something about somebody's psyche also. It's like maybe this is an unwell person in terms of their mental, mental and emotional here. Somebody drinks too much. Somebody, yeah, somebody definitely does neglect and they do whatever they want to do. It could be a feminine energy, female. Um, it could even be trying to garner the attention of a masculine or a male energy. Somebody is just neglectful because I don't think that they have the capacity to be more than who they really are. And this is a person who can't see a different perspective because they're too focused on themselves, too self-centered, too, they internalize everything. They have a way of making everything revolve around them. You know, if you get a new car, you present it to this person and say, oh my gosh, I have to get the same car. Instead of saying, congratulations, very nice car. You know, so this is somebody who just, you know, everything is them. So this could be you, Leo. This is with somebody else. There's also with this coming up, like in, in a relationship, if you're dealing with this type of person, then everything, the focus is on them. If it's not on them, they kind of, um, they kind of melt, have a meltdown, either, either emotionally, mentally, or they have outbursts. They get very confrontational. Okay. Um, maybe even if you try to talk to this person about their neglectful parent and they get confrontational. All right. So let's see Virgo. Virgo, right? Yeah, Virgo. Okay, let's see, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? Oh, that, whoa. Virgo, some of you could be into books, writing a book, writing. Um, lazy as F, okay? And in love with my friend. Okay. Interesting energy coming out. Some of you have some children that are just spoiled. When things are spoiled, what do we tend to do? throw them away right we don't want our children to be looked at as throwaways because when you when someone something is spoiled you can't do anything with it so make sure you kind of err on the line of caution with you know spoiling children spoiling people because they only get older and bigger you know um yeah maybe so you let somebody be lazy or somebody's lazy with their parenting um in love with my friend. What is this about? This is two different energies. Lazy as F. It's like purple too. It's two purple cards. So it's like um, friend. Yeah. Friendly energy. Maybe even psychic energy. Yeah. It could be a Leo you're dealing with. I mean, not Leo. It could be a Leo. A Libra. Um, the two of swords coming out. It's like So it's like maybe this person has friend zoned you or you friend zoned them. Okay. Um, because there was no cooperation, like you didn't know where this was going and it was too much of a power struggle. Okay. Somebody wasn't putting in enough energy time into the relationship effort. So it's like, it's best to just cut this off. Not, you know, um, definitely, but it's kind of indefinite, you know, like we will reconcile, but hopefully when we reconcile, we have a plan or a course of action that will take some, somebody's also questioning cutting off a loved one here. Um, somebody's having a hard time setting boundaries or, um, yeah, hard time setting boundaries at home, setting boundaries with children in the relationships. Uh, yep. With children, a feminine energy with children at home, you having a hard time, maybe even making your children get in line or stay in line. You having a hard time tapping into that masculine energy. Maybe you need help. Okay. Um, this is what I have for you, uh, Virgo. All right, let's see. What's going on for Libra? If I can pick up the cards. Right. All right, Libra. Let's see what's going on for Libra. All right, Libra. Let's see. Libra. What do we have for Libra? All right, Libra. One more shuffle for Libra. Whoa, okay, and it flew right out. A hateful mother sucker. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody who's hateful. Either this is you, Libra, and I hope that it is not, um, but you're dealing with somebody who's hateful, okay? Maybe you're in a relationship with someone who's driving you crazy, okay? 
Um, either you're driving them crazy or they're driving you crazy. Somebody is just um, not nice. Um, they're making you depressed or blue. Um, somebody is hating on your relationship. It could be the person that you're in a relationship with. Uh, or this is somebody um, outside of the connection here. Uh, let's see. The Seven of Pentacles. So it's like a period where you're not dealing with this person, okay? Um, where there's no activity between the two of you. You could be dealing with the Earth sign, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Um, somebody could be pregnant or um, if not pregnant, um, there was a time where you guys were not together. Now you're realizing that somebody is just mean. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, persevere. It says persevere. See it through because... Um, on the other side of this is um, maybe growth, betterment. You've already planted the seeds with this person. Yeah, Some, somebody could be pregnant, okay? Somebody's just real tough to deal with as they're pregnant right now. Someone's being really nasty, maybe to a masculine energy because it's a new pregnancy. They could be going through a lot of changes yet within their body. Um, they could be put on bed rest early. The relationship, somebody feels claustrophobic. Someone feels like someone is suffocating them or the relationship feels suffocating. They feel like there is too many boundaries or they feel like they're not sure what they've gotten themselves into. They feel isolated within a relationship too or this is how you're making someone else feel. Um, someone could be spiritual or learning about spirituality also. Um, somebody else wants to go a different way you know somebody wants to go a different way here someone has to deal with the baby's mom here somebody's just hateful altogether that maybe somebody is pregnant or maybe that someone is getting engaged or got engaged or is they're in a stable relationship this will be a person outside of the connection labor all right so let's see Uh, what's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio. All right, I think I for, I failed to mention if um whomever time stamps this reading first, I will answer two free questions. All right, so whoever time stamps this reading first, I will answer two free questions for you. So be the first to time stamp all all uh, zodiac signs, all twelve zodiac signs. All right, let's see. All right, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Secret plans to propose marriage. Very nice. Yeah, and then we got secret love child here. Um, so we definitely got a lot of secrets here with uh, you, Scorpio. Either I'm mean, keeping. Okay, so this could be like that you're in the friend zone. Okay, somebody thinks you're crazy. Um. Someone could be also proposing something else. If it's not marriage, then it's like, you know, let me propose that we be in a more stable relationship, connection, or let me give this person something that will make them uh, change their mind about me. Because somebody still doesn't want like a real um, committed relationship. What is this about? The secret plans to propose. It's like somebody got friend zone and now they feel like they need to do something. Um, they need to take the relationship to the next level or yeah, six of swords. They need to transition this connection here. Maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius coming up here. Um, so someone feels like, okay, I need to get out of the zone of not being close to my person. Uh, I want to come back. I want to have stability. I want to, I know that, that right now we're not talking. I want to finish what I started with this person. I don't know if I would really believe this. It's like, I don't know, it's someone telling you what you want to hear. This could be like a long engagement too. You know, like if you do accept the ring or the proposal of some sort, the realization of the thing doesn't happen 
you know, instantly, of course, not instantly, but it does, but it's like a, you know how you, you'll see people propose to a person and it's like, congratulations. And then like two or three years later, it's still not married and still walking around with an engagement ring or a year later, or maybe even two years later. No, I wouldn't do it for three. No. Um, I don't think I would do it for two. Um, maybe one in certain circumstances. Um, so it's like somebody will do something to get you back or try to propose something to you to get you to stay a Scorpio or this is what you're doing. Um, but I don't think they are absolutely, yeah, they're not absolutely serious about this. Okay. Um, they just feel like they need to keep you in a place of, um, with them. Yeah. All right, so let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right, thank you for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message. Ooh, Sag, we got some crazy cards showing up. All right, let's see Sag. Sag, what's going on for Sag? All right, so we've got relationship is driving you crazy, and this also wanted to come out. Closed off to love. All right, so someone could be closed off to maybe communicating with you. It's a no. They're closed off to love or closed off to um, opening their heart. Somebody is depressed or borderline depressed or trying to come out of a depression. Maybe a relationship um, makes them depressed. Someone's dealing with someone who talks a lot or talks too much. Someone wants to be with. They've been friends owned by somebody who... Uh, they feel like they have a real strong connection to. Okay. What's going on here for Sag here? Somebody said you could be dealing with somebody who is in a relationship and the relationship is dri driving them crazy. You are their outlet, but they, they can't give you what you deserve or what you want. They can't give you the relationship because they're already in one. Is this going on for Sag? Could be dealing with a Taurus. I don't know why I got that. Yep. And then the Emperor, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, the universe. Yep. Taurus um, energy there. The world. So that's what all fixed signs, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. So it's like um, Sag, somebody is unmoving, you know, unwilling to move. Somebody's also coupled or married or something of that nature. Someone wants to start over and start a new chapter somewhere else. They're not sure if they can or if this person is open to it. Somebody is, they want to close out one relationship and then go to another, but they're not sure if they can go to this person. It could be someone that you have children with or had a child with or wanted a family with or you had obligation to or with. This could be somebody who has a child. Maybe they're hanging on to a relationship dude, out, out of obligation they're keeping things up in the air maybe they're going between two different people two different ideas they haven't decided on one somebody could be acting like everything is all good all you know I heard copacetic I never use that word so maybe that's you know an indication for somebody someone's acting like yeah things are, are okay uh, but they're ready for change Somebody talks on the phone to a person for hours, but at the same time, like, um, you guys could be worlds apart or very far apart, live a apart from one another. Um, you're dealing with somebody who's just, um, uh, oh, cowardly. Can't make the choice or the decision here. All right. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn, Capricorn. And if you are first to timestamp this collective reading you will receive two I will answer two uh, free questions for you via the tarot please don't send me uh, four page paragraphs I will not read those um, they need to be clear concise questions um, I'm just not going to read that um, let's see Capricorn all right so Capricorn, these fell out for you. I love lying in your arms. Can't get over you. Ooh, somebody feels like this is the best sex ever. There was trauma bonding happening in some relationship blocked on all social, social media. All right, so something didn't work out. Something ended. Um, it just didn't have st lasting power, staying power here. 
someone is blocking a person on all social media or has blocked them out of their life and but somebody can't get over you or vice versa um somebody feels like okay it, this was a trauma bond like we both were going through something so that's why it lasted but that long you know it could have been over even sooner um this could be like when somebody breaks up with a person and they jump back into a situation a relationship connection or whatever but they're really not over the person that they just left a lot of times i get this card when people hooked up for or during COVID. you know everybody was going through that tra traumatic you know situation right um so it's just like uh, maybe connecting out a reason for something else but somebody is not over it uh, they really like the physical connection of this, but the relationship started maybe not on the best uh, on the best grounds here, so it didn't have lasting power. Somebody also could have already been married, couple, not single. Um, and now they have to make the choice that to stay within their relationship, marriage or whatever. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, King of Cups. Somebody had a, you know they had a a big love. For the person that they have obligation for and a smaller love for the other person uh he typically the king of cups typically has two chalices um because he is the king of emotions so he can you know tolerate so many different relationships that mean different things to him or her uh the king of cups typically keeps exes around funny that we talked about exes um yeah keep exes around you know just keep them at bay Keep them at arm's length. It doesn't always, it's not always that they are sleeping with all of their ex, but they do like to have their ego stroked, okay? Um, so if I can reach out to my ex and they tell me how great I was or how great I am, you know, that's great. You know, I feel good about that. Uh, the King of Cups. Uh, this is a husband too. He would make a good husband. Uh, this is somebody who sometimes could be emotionally manipulative again because he is the king of cups here This is somebody who may yeah, this was like a relationship where some I heard same sex and then also like um This person Because they are the king of emotions. Yeah trauma bonding pro possibly did happen here, but he knew exactly what this was and that it was um You know going to be temporary and that eventually he, it would stop. Okay Yeah it, this had a stopping point with the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Like it didn't have, it could only grow but so far. And then we have to let it go. Um, let's see. What's going on for Aquarius? The Aquarius collector. What's going on for Aquarius? All right, one more shuffle for Aquarius. All right, let's see. Aquarius. 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 What do we have to tell the Aquarius collective? All right, two cards came out. All right, very nice. All right, so Aquarius, whole lot of money, sexually abused. Woo. Somebody's gone through a lot of abuse um, sexually. Well, somebody could have been abused as a child because they don't want children. Um, somebody's scared. You know, like I just heard scared, like scared. I don't know why they're so scared. Um, this could be you Aquarius. You don't want children, maybe because you had been sexually abused. Um, somebody is just, um, uh, maybe materialistic. They're just after making a whole lot of money or they make a whole lot of money. Aquarius, you could be making a whole lot of money, but you're also dealing with somebody who is closed off to growth of a relationship, growth of a situation here. Uh, they don't want to see any fruit bear from this connection. Uh, maybe they just want to keep it superficial you know on the surface we don't want to go beneath uh, somebody else is also holding on to something here um, they become kind of placid gray about this they don't want to talk about maybe abuse all right let's see what's going on here for Aquarius yeah through your swords somebody's not talking talks about uh, miscommunication breakdown of communication uh, misinterpretation it talks about um, heartbreak heartache um, Somebody's torn also here, maybe between something. Yeah, between maybe starting their own family. Wow, 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles. 
because somebody's holding on to something. Ooh, you got the holding on card, the star card, needing to release, needing to um, release their emotions accurately here, Aquarius. Could be you, could be someone else that you're you're dealing with here. Um, somebody needs to be honest about family matters. Maybe they were abused by family. Maybe on the outside they had to act like this was a really happy, um, stable, uh, healthy family. But that was furthest from what it was. Karma, justice. Somebody could have been abused by... Um, is an authority figure also yep well somebody took somebody's innocence with the six of cups somebody this is a system this is like a system of abuse also and um, somebody doesn't want their children around certain people because there is abuse or there was abuse that happened somebody was in the system and that's a whole reading right there um, generational curse also. Mm. All right. Um, let's just keep going. All right. And last but not least, we have Pisces. Do keep in mind that if you have a first two time stamp, you could get two free questions answered by me via the Tarot. All right. So someone feels like you're absolutely beautiful, Pisces. I heard you're glowing. I don't know. You could be pregnant. All right. Let's see. Um, they feel like the chemistry between you and them is off the charts. Very nice. All right, let's see. Pice. Oh, okay. These physically abusive, jealous friends. Okay. Um, what the heck is this about? You could even be fighting with a friend. Okay, you fought with a friend. Um, someone could be jealous. You could be jealous. Maybe uh, the queen of wands. Yeah, someone's jealous of you. You're beautiful. You're radiant. You're sexy, seductive. You got it going on. You're living in your purpose, life purpose here. So things just kind of vibrate to you. Uh, you kind of attract things that um, allow you to get a lot of eyes on you. You dress well. You could be funny also. You have a nice body. I heard you have a nice, a nice body of work also. Four of swords and the four of cups. So yeah, somebody here, maybe it could be a feminine energy, is, um, yeah, very jealous of you. Okay, now it doesn't have to be a female, but it could be a feminine energy. Six signs are feminine, six are masculine. So uh, I'll let you do that homework. Uh, so you could, so there could be a feminine energy who's jealous of you, okay? Um, they want what you have. Um, Maybe you live a very carefree and leisurely life, okay? They feel like it should have been them. It could have been them. Yeah, you live a very carefree and leisurely life. This person could be, uh, they need to get some spiritual awareness, okay? Um, Pisces, you could be jealous of somebody also. This could be you. And some of you, this is like failure to carry. Like you can get pregnant, but you, you don't carry to term. Oh, Jesus Christ. And it could be because maybe this happened for you. You know, there was promiscuity and maybe you contracted an STD that I don't even want to get into that. You know, somebody is promiscuous and they don't do well with one-on-one -on -one relationships here. It could be that somebody has contracted it. And STD. We got the Four of Swords here and the Four of Cups. Somebody thinks everything is, you know, somebody could be very materialistic. And maybe this is why they need to get some spiritual awareness. Somebody plays so many games in love. Ooh, they need therapy. Yeah. Um,. All right, yeah, somebody plays games with love or in love here. This is what I have for you, Pisces. Could be you, could be someone else. Um, do timestamp down below, okay? Uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Sunday night, tonight, 8.30 p.m. Standard Time. Come for the collective reading. Ask questions also. I will see you there. Many blessings to you. Take care.